Hi there, and welcome back. In the previous video, we added movement to our player, and in this video, we're gonna get our camera to follow our player. To get our camera to follow our player, we'll need to go back to our 2D world. And if you look at our asset panel, we have these groups. So there's a light group, and we can collapse it. Then there is a labels group, and then there is the objects group, and that's where our player currently is in. The camera in Buildbox can only follow assets that are in the character group, which is the group that is above objects, and currently it's grayed out because it's empty. Since we want to follow our player, let's move our player into the character group, and we can do that by clicking and dragging it into the characters. Now we have our character in the right group, we can go and configure our camera. So to configure our camera, we need to select it. And the two options that we have to select a camera is either find it in their scene editor, which we can find in the middle right here. This is the camera. So we can click on it and we get the options on the right side. Also, we can find it in the outliner. And the outliner is this section right here between our asset panel and the scene editor. And in here, we can see all of the objects that are in our scene. And we can find our camera at the very top of the list. And if you want to select it, just click on it. And that will select the camera. And you can see that it's selected in our scene editor also. Now that we selected our camera, let's configure it to follow our player. So like any objects that we select, we have the options in the option panel. The camera has its own options. And since we are trying to follow our player, the best bet is to look for something that says follow. And here we have position follow and rotation follow. Then we have some settings for follow force, follow threshold and follow offset. We'll take a look at those later on, but the one we're gonna configure right now is the position follow. And if we click on the options that we have for position follow, the options that are here are game path, character, and player. So if we select character, it's gonna follow any object that is placed into a scene from our character group. If you want to follow a specific character from the character group, you can select it in the list below. And for our setup right now, it doesn't matter which one we select because we only have one character in our group, but let's go and select a specific character from our character list. And the one we want is the player. Once we select player, we can now preview it. And now we can see that the camera follows the player, but we have this shift in a Y axis and it's shifted because the camera also follows the player's Y position. And for this game, we don't want the camera to follow the player in the Y position. To turn off the camera from following in the Y axis, we can use the option that we have here called follow force. And follow force is the multiplier of the force for the camera to follow the character. And currently it's set to one, one, one on the all axis. The only axis that we're interested in following is the X axis. So we'll leave the X axis at one. And on the other axis, the Y axis, let's set it to zero. And since we are doing a 2D game, the object is not gonna move in the Z axis. So we'll set that to zero also. And now if we click preview, we can see that our camera is back to being in the middle and it's following our player. If you got this result in your game already, you are ready to continue to the next video. And in the next video, we'll be adding physics to our game. 